Is it weird that an 18 year old teenager buy a chainsaw instead of a PlayStation 5? The answer is yes, but for me, no. Hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video is going to be an overview on my Husqvarna chainsaw that I bought and no I won't be doing some actual cutting in this chainsaw as I have already cleaned it and it won't make any sense since it's going to the market soon. This is a Husqvarna 365 Special Chainsaw with a 20 inch bar that I bought at my local power shop for $300 including tax and trust me it was a bargain buy. As these chainsaws online go up to $500 up to $700 use just the power head only and not including the bar and chain. Furthermore, this chainsaw costs about $1,000 new and supposedly Husqvarna still makes these chainsaws even to this day, but I doubt so. Now, whoever owned this chainsaw before actually took very care of it except for the pull start handle, as it shouldn't be at this angle. It's only broken at the edge of the handle, so that's why it's positioned that way. And could be replaced if needed, but it's not so really bad as it seems and doesn't affect the starting procedure. On top of that, I also cleaned this chainsaw with a power washer. So that's why it's clean like that in the first place. But when I got it, it was dirty as heck, but very well maintained. However, if you do end up getting this variant, there's some precautions you may have to take before you actually buy this chainsaw. Apparently, the Husqvarna 365 series and some other models of the Husqvarna line are very common replicas out there and that even the company themselves actually stay on the Facebook page on what to look for before buying. In their Facebook post, Husqvarna provides some comparison pictures of a replica 365 and a genuine 365. Here's what to look for a genuine 365. Has a printed slash stamp gas gas and oil mixture near the gas cap, quality made air filter, the build quality and the serial number which is the most important part. Now if yours is the complete opposite from what I said then it could possibly mean that your 365 chainsaw is a replica and if you actually bought a 365 new that cost around $300 then congratulations you bought yourself a replica as these chainsaws do not cost $300 new. Heck, you can actually buy a disassembled new replica 365 for $300 on eBay. Of course, the only catch is that you have to assemble it yourself, but you get the idea. I didn't knew that 365 were very common replicas out there and of course me, I was a bit worried because I thought I bought a worthless chainsaw. But luckily, dodge a bullet from here since from what I can tell, I have a genuine Husqvarna 365 as it seemed to match the photos that Husqvarna mentions. The only doubt that I had was the serial number as it did not match its similarity style to the photos. But after doing some more research from what I have learned, this special variant has another style of serial number than the XP variant. Let's talk about the cool feature this chainsaw has. First to point out. It has no primer bolt, which kind of sucks. So starting will be a little pain in the butt, but it will start and take a while to start too. Another feature the chainsaw has is her decompression valve, which is a blue valve located at the top left of the cylinder. Now, if you don't know what it does, well, it's technically self-explanatory. So what it does is that it releases some compression from the combustion chamber which makes starting more easier since it eliminates half of the compression so that it won't be very hard to pull. Some people hate it, some people love it, but in my case, I love it. Lastly, the feature that I like most about this chainsaw is the type of material the chainsaw is made. Unlike most of today's chainsaws, most frame is made out of plastic, but this chainsaw on the other hand hits different as the crankcase, which is almost the whole frame of the chainsaw, is literally made out of magnesium aloe, which is very high quality made. Which, if I remember my chainsaw history correctly, most old vintage chainsaws were built like this during the day, as my dad's old 
vintage steel 064 AV is built like this but as everyone points out companies just don't build them like they used to and stick with cheaply made materials that won't even last long compared to back then. And did I also mention the handles also made out of metal instead of plastic? How cool is that? So enough with the chit chat and let's start the chainsaw shall we? In order for the chainsaw to run, start by pulling the great choke lever outwards. Then slide the switch to the on position. And then you pull the starter cord until the chainsaw starts. These two are optional but you can push the decompression valve in order to make pulling very easy to pull and also activate the brake if needed. Depending on your chainsaw, most will start and die which is pretty normal since it's in the choke position. So we then want to push the choke lever onwards in order to take off the choke and it should start from there. As mentioned earlier, the 365 did not show with a purge bulb so starting the chainsaw will take a while to start. So here we go. sweet sound of two soak. Don't you just love the sound? Well I sure do. Well ladies and gentlemen that concludes in today's video. I know some people are quite disappointed that I didn't show this chainsaw in action like cutting wood but as I mentioned in the beginning I already cleaned the chainsaw and it won't make any sense to dirty up just for the video as she's going to the market soon but I'll make it up for y'all in the future.